in 2014 coverage, the battle is on to challenge powerful Congressman Paul Ryan. New at 6, WISN 12 News political reporter Kent Wainscott spoke with the two Democrats squaring off in next week's primary, hoping to unseat Ryan. Rob Zerbon knows what it's like to take on powerful House Budget Chairman Paul Ryan. For us, it's, it's always been about Paul Ryan. Two years ago, the small business owner held Ryan to his narrowest margin of victory in a district which features some of the state's most economically challenged cities like Racine and Janesville. That race took place as Ryan was also running as the Republican vice presidential candidate. Amar Kalika, meanwhile, is a newcomer to politics, but not to the spotlight. He's had a high profile since the Sikh temple shooting in which his father was among those killed. Kalika says he can relate to the voters of the first district. I can talk to people about middle class values that, you know, I espouse because it's in my DNA. Both Democrats agree on the issue they say is at the heart of this race. The biggest issue right now, I think, facing everybody is still going to be economic. It's going to be jobs, jo job growth. The economy and jobs in the first district. Absolutely. And as for what separates them, they both point to that 2012 election. We're going to continue to build on the success we had in that, that race. You know, it's no small accomplishment getting Paul Ryan below 55% when he's on the national ticket, you know, winning, winning his hometown of Janesville, his home voting ward. I have not lost to Paul Ryan. That's the biggest difference. Zerban has uh, better funding, a strong organization in place, and the experience of having run a campaign. Kalika, meanwhile, calls that a challenge, but he believes voters will respond to his message. And Paul Ryan has a primary challenger as well. Yeah, he does. Another Ryan, in fact, Jeremy Ryan, who was a prominent protester during the Capitol protest a couple of years ago. He's on the ballot as a Republican. Paul Ryan, meanwhile, sat down with me recently, and I asked him about this first district and his campaign for re-election. And so if you look at what I'm doing... It's to fix things that are broken in government, to make the government more responsive, more accountable, and to pass economic policies that help create more jobs and more prosperity, especially in the pockets of poverty, which we have in the first district in Racine and Kenosha and Janesville, where they haven't seen opportunity. Primaries next week. Paul Ryan has held that first district seat since 1999. All right, a little bit more about the district. Here's a closer look. Look at Wisconsin's first congressional district. It includes all of Kenosha, Racine, Walworth counties, and parts of Milwaukee, Waukesha, and Rock counties. It also has three out of the top five highest unemployment rates in the state, with the cities of Beloit, Racine, and Mount Pleasant. It is considered a swing district in the race for president, voting for Republican George Bush in 2004, Democrat Barack Obama in 2008 and Republican Mitt Romney in 2012.